So what is up guys, this is Drake and here, welcome back with another video on taming here on our survival level mobile. So guys, to this video we are going to be taming up a Jeboa. Uh, and I hope I said that right because it sounds so foreign to my ears. Yep, Jeboa, Jeboa, Jeboa. Okay, anyways, now on mobile they are dungeon exclusive and let's get to their uses later on. First of all, let's talk about what they would like to eat. So. Uh, there's no specifically non keyboard for these guys, so you are better off just using off some of these rockets because you can use either berries, major berries if you'd like, but rockets work the best. And I've got some in my hot bars, not hot bar inventory as well. I just didn't know that. Well, that's okay, I got some a bit more. And so now these guys will take the any kind of crops or bellies and also they've got quite low health so their health is low just like most shoulder pets they have low amounts of health so when you're knocking these guys out you better use some prank darts or else you could use those what are they called narcotic trip wires yes so you could use one of them or you could use prank darts i prefer prank darts because they deal less damage and more top right then now these guys can only be found in the dungeon as well so you need to kill them and revive them in order to just tame them up so i got the soothing balm, crank dust and everything set up so let's just resurrect you okay there we go. A level 435, that's quite fine. Now, where's your inventory? Can I access it, please? There we go. So, let's put this in and then the rock carrots. Now, these are shoulder pads, so you can keep them on the shoulders. Uh, stay here for a bit, seconds. Okay, then you'll be up quite soon. So, if you're using berries, I believe you might just have to use some narcotics. I'm not so sure about that. So, these are quite easy to knock out and they're quite easy to tame as well. And they look so cute as well. That's just one more feet, please. Okay, you are coming up soon. Oh yes, there we go. So let's take you out of here and just check you out. Okay, so you got 900 health and you look quite nice. And let's check the rest of your stats now. This, this is actually a shoulder creature as well. So it doesn't matter how much damage they do, it's never enough for you to just take them out for a fight or anything. So Now these guys have the ability to check weather events. And the Jeboa side, I believe Jeboas are the only creatures in Nark that have idle animations. So it will just scratch his ears and everything. So now these guys have quite a few users, such as they are the arcs with the report system and they do look quite cool on your shoulder as well so something i forgot to mention in the other taming video is that Je jebo was another shoulder pets they decrease the weight of the items put into their inventory so to show that let me just go into this view so you got your weight is and also the Jebovas can carry more weight than uh, otter as well so this one's got 160 weight no my weight is 277 percent so this is 20 kilograms let's just encumber you so this and then this okay so you got 158 kilograms now and i've got 121 so when you add them up, you should get like 
so you should have 279 if you put this guy on your shoulder but that's not the amount you're going to have just take a look at this just 200 79 kilograms to do so all shoulder pets do this thing they have this ability they just reduce the weight of the items on your inventory so let's get this back uh, okay so one thing about this jabawas is that they have they have the ability to just detect weather events about three minutes in advance yeah so if it's uh, if your jabawas starts to sniff and dig at the ground that means there's a rain event coming up and if the jabawa starts to like whimper and make like a crying sound that means there's a heat wave coming up and I don't know about the other weather events because those two are the only weather events that are there right other than the fog yeah so I'm not exactly certain about what kind of things that these guys do uh, so let me just quickly check it up and tell you guys okay guys so we are back with some news and knowledge okay so these guys detect weather events as everyone knows but I checked it out and it says that a fast wagging of tail means if there's a lightning storm that's coming in I believe like thunderstorm when it's raining and there's a thunderstorm I think that's what it detects and there's a barking at the sky which means there's a sandstorm coming I don't think that's that event is there in mobile so I don't think it'll bark at the sky and if it starts digging at the ground that means there's a heat wave so you may have seen that sometimes specifically in beach areas there's like a they are telling even overheating so cool down fast go into some water but sometimes i found that even if i'm in some water the heat doesn't reduce and the message is still there so whatever so if it's barking at the sky it's a sandstorm which is not there in mobile so it digs at the ground like digging at the ground like a thing uh, I, I don't know how to explain because i haven't seen it so and the next thing is if it starts to like sniff and whimper sniffing and whimpering that would mean that there's a rain coming so you have to just keep those things in the head so just memorize them that if it's sniffing there's a rain coming and so yeah that's about it then uh, there's nothing much that the jabawas can do so uh, yeah, not. So those idle animations of these guys are like it's like trying to detect stuff I think and it's becoming night time as well. So guys that's it about the Jabawas. The as all shoulder pets do they reduce the weight in your inventory and let me just put you on they look good while you're while they're on your shoulder. Let's try to get a frontal view of this guy. So at the moment these are eerie but if you just breed them up several several times there's a chance that you can get a non eerie version that happened to me with my deodon so that's about it guys that's all these fellows can do they are reducing the weight of items that are put in their inventory now it doesn't show up in their inventory as a weight reduction it just shows up in your inventory as a weight reduction so that's it about the Jaboas guys really hope you find this helpful so this is Drake in here over and out so if you find this video to be helpful ring that notification bell and smash that thumbs up and subscribe as well and never miss a video so bye guys until next time